to back at Bathurst. Under the bridge coming down to the final corner. Checkered flag time. Crowd absolutely berserk. Last turn, checkered flag. How does it feel? To his champ, Alan Grice. It's uh, the best feeling I've had since 1986, I've got to tell you. <laughs> Well done, son. You've driven superbly. The grandstand stand and cheer as Craig Lowndes brings it across the line. Fist out of the window in jubilation and takes victory in heat two, round one of the Shell Australian Touring Car Championship. Craig Lowndes right on his hammer. It's another one-two for the Holden Racing Team as they go down to the wire with Peter Brock just taking the victory ahead of Lowndes. And it's been a great performance by these uh, two all season. Motorsport manager for Shell to present today's trophy to the new Australian Touring Car Championship. Sponsored by Shell, Craig Lowndes. Lowndes on the inside, skate from the outside. Will the enforcer get a good jump? Away we go, Whoa, and no, Lowndes no. popped him down. Look through the middle, it's oh, it, uh, bright, bright, bright. Yeah. And Stephen Richards, the outside. Oh, that was a bright oh, start. Oh, look at oh, this. No, look at that. That's so oh, no. tender. Who's oh, got out of the race? Craig Lowndes. Oh, le oh. oh, my oh, goodness God, me. That's a nasty. Oh, whoa, Craig whoa, Lowndes, whoa. car one, our championship leader. You could see there was a contact there between two cars. It set off a chain reaction. And our championship leader, Craig oh, Lowndes, one of the wins cars. Stephen Richards, boy, oh boy. What and they want to do is get over there and just make sure that thing, they've got all these fire extinguishers and everything, because if that thing catches fire, that's really very nice. Look at the drivers running. Yeah. Garth Tander is there, Greg Murphy. The, all these guys are friends. Crompton in there, they're all concerned for their uh, fellow competitors' safety and welfare. They are all rushing in there to his aid. And that is exactly the same position we yep. saw the Formula Ford yeah, crash identical, yesterday. Identical, absolutely oh, look identical. look at the bank, the dirt yeah, marks right. there are where the Formula Ford went Now in. look, that's the, the um, Marsh has done a really good job there because the frightening thing, the thing they've got to be so careful of is to make sure there's no fire. Well, that I'll tell you what, these are, these are tough old cars. They build these mobile Holden racing team cars like Sherman tanks, massive roll bar structures in them, safety systems. So hopefully land should be okay. Here it is right, from the top watch. angle. Now you see Craig is down there on the left. That's that's the touch there, right? That's the touch where... That's Stephen Gar Richards who... who oh, oh, it's Stephen Richards, is it? Sorry, I thought it was Garth Tandler. Yeah, the white car in the middle was the wind's car, but Stephen was obviously offline whether he... That's frightening. Now look, watch this where it touches the curve. It's identically the same thing as happened yesterday. Yeah. And just, you know, now... Now that car has left the track at, at close to 200 kilometres now, you would say. That is very, very, very nasty. And we just keep our fingers crossed and hope that uh, Craig's all right. Well, these cars are built extremely strong and they are very, very well put together. This was a brand new race car. Right, now let's try it. Now you see the touch there was from Stephen Richards. Yeah, I thought it was Gartana, it was Stephen Richards. And the touch makes uh, Craig's car pick up the left-hand rear. And um, then you'll see. Craig Lowndes looked right at home behind a Ford Falcon in his first test session since his highly publicised switch from Holden. At the time, you made the high-pressure call to leave HRT and to ultimately go to Ford. How tough was that? And would you do things differently again? No, I wouldn't do things differently. I think that, um, yeah, it was a tough decision. I think we'd had six years or so with, with HRT. They gave me the opportunity to become who I am. Uh, we got to a point where we were going down a path this way, the team was sort of going down a path that way, and, and, and we weren't going to cross back over. And, you know, it, it was a... It, difficult situation because not only did I drive for HRT but in a sense they were my manager so uh, it was difficult to separate the two and I got to a point where oh, I wasn't happy in the team it was a big news report at the time because not only we were leaving HRT but we were moving to Ford mm. so it was a double whammy for me and 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 I remember when we moved to Ford uh, it was a very different atmosphere 
very different team. But as it sort of panned out, you know, then Russell did it. Um, a few other drivers started moving around and then it all became a bit of a norm. So I was sort of the, 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 the one that broke the ice. his feet because he's had to fight this Holden Commodore the whole way. The last 10 laps have been an extraordinary story of just holding on to what you've got and what he had was a five second lead. It's now down to three seconds. The officials say he's got it in the bag through Forest Elbow for the last time. No problems. No problems at all. Can he hold on? Has the car got enough? down Conrod Strait for the very final time. You can see Richards. He knows that he's in the mirror. There he is, Stephen Richards, with lights on. The gap is too big. And Mark Scaife is going to do it for the Holden Racing Team. Jason, Jim Richards, rather, will collect his seventh crown. Mark Scaife will collect his fourth individual crown. This will be their third Bathurst win together. They did it in 91 and 92 in a Nissan. And now they're going to do it in 2002. And isn't that fitting that Mark Scaife goes around Peter Brock? And Mark Scaife will go back to back at Bathurst. He secures another Australian touring car title. Stephen Richards comes across in second position. What a finish. Scafey did an absolutely magic job out there. Yeah. Unbelievable. The winners of the Super Team Auto 1000, Mark Scafe and Todd Kelly. They will collect a trophy from Bob Ford, the managing director of Super Team Auto. Mark Scafe sits among the greats of Australian motorsport as a giant of V8 supercar racing. With a stat sheet the envy of many, the kid from Gosford has a record that stands up to any driver, no matter the era. Five Australian Touring Car and V8 Supercar Championships, six Bathurst wins and a total of 90 championship race wins only really scratches the surface of his achievements. Last place to first, well done to Mark Scaife, a storming ride. At Oran Park today, Mark Scaife was king as he farewelled fans with a lap of honour. I thank the fans especially for such a great ride. It's been an incredible journey and, uh, and, I, and I hope that you've enjoyed it as much as I have. And that's the end of the road for one of the true greats of this sport. struggling for grip with that car but he's still got him covered I, I don't know whether he's got enough it's just amazing it's almost impossible to read he does everything that he can to cover this is for the biggest prize in Australian motor racing tanned by two car links at the moment over Lowndes Lowndes has a look remember the brave move a couple of laps ago he has a big crack under brakes Tanda holds on one more opportunity for Craig Lowndes to have a crack. It's been more than 30 years since a rookie claimed victory at Mount Panorama in a legendary finish. This is the year of the rookie of the pro. Tander and Nick Perkett are the champions. The Peter Brock Trophy. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the 2011 Super Cheap Auto Bathurst 1000 winners! to both get around it but that has cost Craig Lowndes and that's put James Courtney in the box seat just a couple of turns to go the last time we saw him in 2013 he was all busted up in Phillip Island he comes back with effectively a brand new car and the rivalry between the Holden Racing Team and Red Bull Racing Australia it's on Courtney gets the win Adrian Raskin there from HRT just Congratulating James. Here we go. He's got the guns out and Frank the Tank is back in business. And now all the focus, the accolades, the applause, the elation, it all belongs to Chaz Mostert. For the second time in his career, he lines it up out of the direction change into Murray's corner now for the final time. Second gear lines it up. The 2021 yeah, Repco Bathurst well 1000 done. winner is Chaz Mostert. Yeah, well done, Chaz Mostert. Lee Holdsworth, his first ever victory at Mount Panorama. And ten major race they oh, broke God, through awesome, with mate. an emotional moment well that means everything it does mean everything to them you can see the elation the reaction from that team is unbelievable ladies and gentlemen your race 31 repco bathurst 1000 winners let the celebrations begin